thank you and welcome back again. Now from this uh, image which you, uh, it is on your screen, what you are uh, looking, what, what you are seeing, um, a person, um, she is reading something and uh, what else you are, are seeing on your screen? How you are perceiving the image on your screen? What the message you are getting? Yeah, uh, Mike, you are with me? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, so um, uh, what the image uh, message you are uh, is on your screen. Um, just if you can uh, quickly tell about uh, how you are perceiving this image, what you what message you are getting. Uh, she appears to be studying something and taking notes and what uh, what she's you know it's, she's very diligently studying something. Excellent. Absolutely. Um, she looks like a very keen reader because she has uh, put a, a manual notes, uh, highlighters of the key things with different colors. Of course, uh, that uh, depends uh, her priority of uh, selecting the text uh, with different uh, highlighter markers. And uh, yeah, she looked like a very deep reader. Um, yeah, you are right. And what about this uh, image? What you are getting? Uh, that someone is uh, trying to communicate writing. Absolutely, yeah. Very so neatly. Yeah, very neatly. Uh, that person is trying to write maybe some personal journal or maybe business article manually or, or um, possibly that uh, manual writing will translate or transfer into the digital, digital format as well. But anyway, whether that person is writing with pen or with keyboard uh, is a writing, absolutely. Uh, that is another our key dimension of our life that we do write as well. Uh, like we see in the previous picture that we do read as well very in very detail and we do write as well. What about this? Um, it appears that uh, he's just thinking about uh, yeah. some, some things and it's all jumbled up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that person is speaking and obviously speaking and person, anyone speaks um, with a certain language or set of uh, words um, in form of sentences and uh, just randomly what comes in the mind or what that person has scheduled or prepared on a script or without script that person is actually shouting, speaking, um, possibly speaking very softly. But anyway, that person is speaking and uh, from uh, in English language. Uh, and that is uh, another uh, key dimension in our personality and as a person, when we live in our world, in this planet, we every day speak as well. Um, we, when we speak, uh, talking with our colleague, uh, speaking with customers, clients, suppliers, uh, obviously we speak and we speak uh, very, uh, with a with lot of freedom, of course. Uh, so this is another way of our expression uh, or communication method, which we do like we just uh, seen before, uh, we do write, we do read, and now, of course, we 
do uh, speak as well is a part of our communication uh, because we are communicating uh, communicated um, a being as well uh, we are the only cpc on this planet who can read write and speak uh, uh, and that make us a very unique uh, being and cpc um, and that is a key and uh, I think the one and only aspect of communication uh, which make us survived on this planet very well. Um, but however, there is an other uh, very key, um, uh, something is missing in communication. Can you spot it, Mike? Uh, there's no one else to hear him speaking. There was no one else to speak. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. He's alone. Uh, he's, he or appears to be alone. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he, possibly he's speaking uh, uh, or, or, uh, in an audience on physical presence or maybe digital or virtual presence. What about um, other this thing, um, like is a reading, is a writing, and is speaking. Is there any other thing is missing uh, in communication as a whole part? Um, there is the fourth key dimension of our communication. Speaking, writing, and reading. What else fourth one? I want you to spot spot what is a which is a fourth um, part of our communication every day. Uh, touch. Uh, touch. I, okay. I, I'm not quite sure what you're looking for. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. Absolutely, I'm just uh, uh, creating a curiosity. Um, because uh, uh, to my audience as well. So um, before I tell you uh, to my audience who will be watching on recording as well, what the fourth key element in our communication in everyday life or in business life, other than um, reading, writing and speaking, just uh, type here, what is your message? Uh, what is your answer? And now I'm going to my next one. I'm going to pause for a few seconds until you think what are, what is a fourth um, part of our communication and very important key part of that communication, which we do every day. Listening? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Listening. So... We, the listening is the fourth and so influential part of our communication that it make, make us really human being because we listen. I mean, many species may shout or they can produce noises or somebody can translate into what that bird or animal is, is trying to say or communicating, or maybe they can translate, uh, 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 I mean, they, uh, they can catch their tunes, uh, like piano tunes and something. But the listening is one of the, one of the forgotten skill, which we have uh missed in our communication as our integral part of we do listen but we this part of our communication which uh define us as well which uh, make us complete human being is very poor unfortunately and as an individual or as a employee as a director as a manager, as a 
customer sales officer, sales advisor, um, as a mom, as a dad, um, as a teacher, um, not specifically teacher, uh, but in many roles, we are very poor listener. We only listen to speak. We do not listen to understand the other person's point of view as is it as he or she tries to speak with me or try to communicate with me. I listen just pretending to be listen, but I want to speak actually. So my more concentration is on my lips speaking rather than I need to listen beyond my intention to speak, beyond my own biasness, beyond my prejudice or my racial factor probably I have about the speaker which she or he is trying to speak with you. But instead of the listening from her or his exactly frame of reference you try to project your own agenda on on the uh, on the other person and uh, because you do not want to understand 100% you do not have empathy you do not have uh, a skill to how you can pose your own biases pose your own um, uh, likeness and dislikeness and just listen the way other person is trying to tell you something. So because of this lackness, the communication breakdowns. Because of this missing uh, thing, uh, you do not achieve the things which meant to be achieved uh, during the conversation or, or the cause of the um, communication between a seller and the customer, between a uh, husband and wife, between a uh, father and the son, between mo mother and the daughter, between a um, uh, politician and the audience, between leader of the house and uh, leader of the opposition in the parliament. And it happens everywhere because we do not listen to understand fully. And that missing skill, which we have forgotten, unfortunately, is not part of our attention as well. The dilemma is we do not learn how to listen. Yeah, in, in a market, there are so many communication courses where we uh, we learn how to speak eloquently, fluently, uh, with accuracy, and, um, and we also uh, learn how to read, actually, what are the um, ways of method, key methods of reading, and um, also we learn how to write, uh, or actually how to write a business uh, proposals, how to write a thesis, how to write an article, uh, blah, blah, blah. There are a lot of content, but there is no content on very, very ignorable, uh, very, very uh, limited content on listening. How to listen, why to listen, and what is the significant significance of listening in the personal life, in building the relationship, uh, not with the personal level, but also in a professional and business level. So that missing skill, that forgotten skill, we are going to learn now. We are going to educate ourselves in next couple of classes um, um, about listening the forgotten skill. And uh, I'm not going to teach you or tell you the basic level of listening, not at all. Basic level of listening, you, you know already and you are doing already, like you may 
listening at the moment to me as well. Um, that's that's fine. But now this course, this online series of new classes uh, for your business productivity, for your individual productivity um, is a advanced class, is the advanced course. And that's the main goal is to breaking down the barrier to listening the way it should be listened. The course will help you to removing the blocks uh, between the listener and the speaker, between customer and the seller, between the company and the seller uh, and the customers, between husband and the wife, between boss and the employee, between uh, parent and the kid, between leader of the parliament and the leader of the opposition, between uh, you can do whatever you want to do. So that is not going to be a basic listening uh, understanding. I'm going to help you for advanced explanation, uh, why to listen and how it is important in your, um, in your life. As listening or speech uh, and uh, what is that um, the speech uh, listening is a part of speech because when you speak you also listen yourself as well and it's very well uh, uh, say that the speech is a joint game between the talker and the listener against the forces of confusion unless both make the effort interpersonal communication is quite hopeless so that's we are going to um, uh, cover in our classes. Um, I'm going to give you a very quick hint what possible key content in listening we are going to uh, cover and how it will help your business uh, to, to boom as well. How you can earn more money um, by implementing implementation of listening techniques and listening ethics in your business when you are dealing with your supplier, when you are dealing with your client, or even you, when you are trying to communicate with your served customer, which you have already. Um, or more importantly, if there is a problem from your customer and he or she but they have a complaint against your product and services. How you are going to communicate and before communication, before speaking, before responding, how you must listen your client uh, and how, what the paradigm you should take uh, uh, and listening the complaint as opportunity to creating a new relationship or taking as a complaint, as a burden on your company because you they have a complaint and you have to refund their money or return um, and they may, uh, I mean, put a negative review on internet as well as uh, because they are not happy because you did not listen to the customer uh, and that uh, will impact the quality of your organizational um, a uh, organizational success as well. Uh, so uh, the number one key important learning we will uh, learn uh, from next Sunday, uh, next class is why listening is so important for you. So, so far what have I have spoken already is, is it uh, the more, the, um, I mean, you, you can consider, I'm telling you the importance of listening. But from next class, I will tell you in detail, actually, why this is important for you and uh, uh, why it has a link with a, a direct link with your self-awareness, why it has a direct link with your professional development and success as well. And uh, what are the levels of listening and how the listening um, uh, is related with the, uh, the other uh, person's um, 
relationship with you in terms of uh, power. So that all we will going to learn uh, in, in the next class. Also, we will learn in the next class classes about how will you know what level of listening you are at the moment. So you have to evaluate first before improving your listening skill that where you stand now. It, it is the same thing if you are reducing your weight and you have obesity and you have put on a lot of weight and you want to reduce it, you need to know where you stand it, how much kilogram or pounds of uh, you have at the moment. And then you will make uh, uh, and you will determine you, and you, you, you will uh, project actually your goal of reducing the weight. The same uh, here, we will learn how uh, we can um, evaluate our current listening skill. Then we will also learn the most important part is what are the barriers between listener and the speaker? Why listening um, does not make uh, the customer's problems to resolve? Why the listening skill of the boss does not um, help the staff to, uh, to resolve their issues or their concern in an organization? Why the listening skill of wife uh, does not help her to, uh, to understand her husband or her partner in the home environment. So it is very, very important. What are the barriers? Uh, and, and that's one of my favorite part as well. We will learn about. And more, uh, there is uh, another very key aspect in listening that uh, when you are listening to uh, someone, uh, actually you also listen to yourself as well but we do not do it consciously and we will learn also that what things make you listen yourself when you are listening other and what does it mean by it is little tricky thing but it is very very important as well as a part of listening skill and also um, if you are not a good listener or you are or you want to be a very good listener um, how it will possible, what make you listen work for you, um, why you want to listen, and what is the advantages of the listening. Um, so we will learn in detail. And obviously that uh, will help your business to boom as well. Because once you know how to listen and what uh, listening work for your company, then you will help your staff to knowing and implementing the importance of listening in their work at your workplace. So that's why we, we will uh, do this as well. Um, also very important things uh, and uh, getting others to listen to you. Um, uh, many times you are speaking and other people are not listening to you or they are ignoring or they are very selecting, uh, selective to, to listen to your uh, thoughts or your statement. They will pick and choose and that you are, um, um, I mean, not accepting it. You want other to listen to you. How other people can listen to you, that is also a very important uh, thing uh, that while, so, um, uh, and it's it's very um, frequently happening in our daily life that we are speaking and somebody is just responding or uh, we have a feeling that they are not listening or they have a very limited uh, understanding or they don't want to listen to me um, because or or, or I have uh, uh, a self esteem issue that they the other person or other people or other company are, are ignoring me. And that is making my self-esteem very low as well. So it's very important that how we can um, other uh, uh, motivate or 
or do some techniques to other person to listen to me as well. Uh, it's very important. Um, and also, um, we will learn in coming classes um, about, uh, um, one second. Yeah, uh, about uh, overall, how we can be a, a great listener uh, overall, uh, what we are now and what we will become a super listener uh, after finish of our classes and or this course. Um, we will also uh, do side by side our Stephen Covey's The Great Book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, uh, uh, one of the habit, which is habit number five, and which is basically have a um, saying thus, first seek to understand and then to be understood. And we will also list, uh, read some of the key things from that um, that thing as well. Uh, so, uh, and the people or, or the fan or the reader of that book, when they are on habit number five, um, they can get benefit from, from our classes as well, from my classes as well. Uh, and they will get a lot of um, juicy content from, from this class as well. And there are a lot of things which uh, Stephen Covey has already covered in the, in the thing. Um, and that uh, is related with character and communication, what is empathy, listening, uh, diagnose before you prescribe, uh, four autobiographical responses, understanding and perception, then seek to understand and then to be understood. Uh, and uh, how, wh what does it mean by communication 101? Uh, and there are some couple of exercises we do. That is from the book habit number five, uh, oh, sorry, the um, book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And within the chapter habit number five, we will also learn. So in this way, we have, we will have a very, very deep um, content uh, and learning experience uh, of these classes of these, uh, which we are going to do. Um, also, it will be important that uh, like exercises, we will also do some exercises after learning uh, or reading different uh, uh, paragraphs or content uh, on our in uh, uh, in our presentation, which I will be giving you. So we will do some practice sessions as well. We will do exercises as well, and uh, uh, we will do some brainstorming as well about so that we must have a great self awareness, uh, so that we can um, be a master in that skill because that skill, listening is not only a listening skill, actually it is your character uh, attribution. It is your uh, attribution as a being. It's, it's not a simple uh, only skill. Um, and in the last thing before I hang up today, um, if I want to tell you that Generally, what the communication we do um, in our daily life uh, or when we are in office, overall, the surveys that based on the book, which uh, is uh, selected, uh, uh, I have uh, uh, taken many things from that book, uh, the listing of the forgotten skill. Uh, in this, the author, she is saying, uh, that uh, our whole communication is divided into writing, reading, talking, and listening into this percentage. And number one, um, our influential communication are, is 40% listening. 40% listening. Um, talking is 35%. Reading is 16%. And uh, writing is 9% only. That uh, 
how the communication, uh, our breakdowns, our general communication, uh, communication between a company to other company, um, a seller to with the customer, um, uh, and uh, that is um, how we can break down for just our understanding uh, with the with the numbers. So you can see that how the listening is so important. So do you think that the listening forty percent, you ready or you make it perfect or you have a mastery so that you can uh, get the maximum from the communication uh, process uh, with your customer or with the, wherever you are communicating. Uh, I mean, so uh, well, in other way, what I'm asking you that are you ready to contribute your listening skill which is a number one contributor in the whole part of communication. So that, uh, are you ready uh, for this? So um, this is the overall uh, skill uh, of listening, which we are going to cover. And the book which I have selected as a main um, is uh, Madeleine Burley Allen, uh, and that is a masterpiece of uh, uh, for research. Uh, we will be learning from this. A couple of things I will uh, introduce from my own uh, creativity, my own uh, content as well. But mostly we will getting the content from this. And the second book which we will use uh, is the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Uh, because uh, why the seven habit book is so influential in today's business world, because it has a specific and dedicated uh, habit on listening, uh, which is habit number five. That's why uh, people love this book. And now in through this course, this series of next couple of classes, we will become a master in this skill. Uh, so we will take a lot of content from that as well. So, um, and uh, that is uh, our, my overview of, uh, um, of why the skill, uh, listening skill is so important. And I hope that you learn uh, it uh, well. Before I hang up and... Uh, um, if you have any question, please let me know. It was a good presentation. I haven't uh, any questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, obviously um, that is very special uh, series of classes we are starting. And uh, I uh, also request you, if you can um, ask your colleagues and uh, friend family uh, to join our class on Zoom or Facebook um, so that we can have a more intensive uh, group learning in this course. Um, obviously that's a exclusive uh, learning experience it will be. So that how you can support and uh, uh, that's it overall. And uh, I will um, put this, um, this course and this uh, listening uh, learning experience in, in next couple of weeks. Um, and I will advertise on Facebook as well. And uh, where you can get the links to uh, invite others, uh, your colleagues, your uh, as well. It is very helpful for especially people who are in working in professional capacity as a employee or as a self-employed or as a in leadership um, a role if you are performing. So this is going to be a breakthrough in your uh, personal, family, and business endeavors. So thank you so much and um, 
I will see you next week. And there will be a link of this class on, you can just register your, uh, your interest on, on the Zoom link. And also if you uh, are comfortable on uh, Facebook, then I will be on Facebook. We have basically uh, two places on Facebook. One is my own page on Facebook, um, which is Life Coaching uh, hyphen Success on Facebook. And another uh, Facebook uh, group uh, of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which have uh, over 38,000 uh, subscribers. So I will be live there as well. Uh, so wherever you are comfortable, we will see. So thank you so much. And uh, I will see you next Sunday. Goodbye. Goodbye, Meritive. Bye-bye. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. You too. You too. This looks like it's going to be a really good course. I'm excited. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.